Hello learner, welcome to our hygiene and nutrition lesson in grade 1. Our strand is personal hygiene and our substrand is use of toilets and latrines. Okay, today we are going to learn about the toilets and latrines and I know everybody is aware of them, of the toilets maybe and of latrines. Those who are not aware, we are going to learn and everybody is going to be aware of that. But before we go to that, we are going to sing a song about our bodies. Because when we talk about hygiene and personal hygiene, that deals with our whole body. And we are just going to sing a song about our body, our parts of the body. Can we sing together? Let's do it. Head, shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulder, knees and toes, ears, eyes, nose and mouth, ears, eyes, nose and mouth. Wow, that was very nice. I remember the last time we learned about how to clean different parts of our body. Now today we are going to learn about the toilet and latrines. Okay, who can tell me what's a toilet or what, what's, a, what's a toilet or what's a latrine? Do we know? Somebody can try. Okay. Then I'm going to show you a picture and you will identify for me, is it a toilet or is it a latrine? Here. Can you see it? Can everybody see this picture nicely? What is this? Is this a toilet or a latrine? Okay, you will tell me. I have another one over here. And this one here. What is this? Is this a toilet or a latrine? Can you identify? Can you differentiate from the two pictures? Which one is a toilet and which one is a latrine? Can we? Okay, let's start with this one. I'm going to start with this one. This one is a toilet. This one is a toilet. Everybody, I know you've ever seen this one. You even use it at home or even, he, or even at school, when you go to school, to churches, to the malls, wherever you go and you feel like going to the washroom or going to the toilet, I'm sure in many, many places you will find such. And this is a toilet. This is a toilet. And how do we use this toilet when you go to eat or when you find it in a place at home? How do you use it? When you go to school and this is the type of toilet you find at school, how do you use it? Do you use it nicely? Do you use it well? After use, what do you do after using it? Do you leave it like that for the other person to come and find what you have done? What do you do? How do you use it? That's what we want to know. Now, when you find such a toilet or when you go to such a toilet, there is something here, a lid. You can see it's covered. You open the lid you sit on it, you do whatever you are doing there. After doing whatever you, have, you are doing, what do you do? Do you leave it like that? No. There is something here, you can see on this thing here. You press, you press and you flush the toilet. Some don't have such a button for pressing. Others, they have a, a string or a what do we call that thing you use to fl flush with it the toilet? Hmm? What do we call it? I can't also remember, but when I remember in the middle of the lesson, I will tell you. So we ha in this, like the one that I have here, particularly, it's a button. You just press. When you press, whatever you have done goes away and you should leave it clean. Always leave it clean. Clean as possible. Clean as you found it. This is a toilet. And this is what most of us use it. Now we have another one here. 
this one. This one is a latrine. It's a latrine. Most people I know maybe you have never seen this one or you don't know it, but it's normally in our homes also or any other places we find it. And this one is even more modified. I can see it, it is almost looking like this one. But back in our homes, in our rural areas, when we go there, it is not even like this one. It is just a hole. It's just a hole down there. That those are the ones that were used long time ago and they are called pit latrines or you can just call it a latrine. How do you use this one also? You just go, you squat. This one you don't sit. This one you don't sit. Don't sit. Remember, on a latrine you don't sit. Like on the toilet, you just squat. You squat. You do whatever you're doing, and after it, you just go. You don't even flash. But for this one, you flash. This one, you flash. But like the one I'm telling you in the rural areas, they don't flash. Just go, finish whatever you're doing there, and that's it. But also even that one, you should make it clean. Don't go and do your business outside the pit you do inside and that's how we use them and we make them clean and after using it let it remain as clean as you found it and once like once in a while or every day you should clean your either it's the toilet or it's the latrine they should be cleaned regularly they should be cleaned regularly so if you are the one who is at home and your mom is not around and you know how to do it, you can do it. But if you don't know, you can maybe tell your mom we should be cleaning our toilet or our latrines regularly. Then we have, a, we have another one about this personal hygiene. We have another, other, other toilets that are used by mostly boys or men. They are called urinals. Have you ever seen urinals? Have you ever seen them? Yes, they are there. Even those ones, they are used by mostly boys or men. Girls don't use those ones. So girls don't go to a urinal and do, go and do something there. No, that one is used by boys or men. So when you are going to use your either your toilet or your latrine, make sure it is clean. Don't sit on it and it and it is dirty. That's another thing. This one, don't sit on it and it is dirty. If it is dirty, first, flush the toilet, wipe, take a tissue and wipe the surface before sitting on it. Especially for girls, wipe it before sitting on it. It is very necessary and it is very nice to do it. Sit on it when it is very, very clean. Don't sit on it and you can see some sparkles of water or urine on it. No, don't. Wipe it first, then you sit on it. That's it for today about the toilet and latrines and our personal hygiene. Until next time, I've been with you, Teacher Frida. Bye-bye.